What if you could make 2023 a very good, positive, productive year? Maybe your best year ever. Well, then stay with me. Let's try to find out how. Well, hello and thanks for clicking here. Um, this video is probably something that I needed and something that I think we all need. Uh, it's already the first week of the year and we're all trying to strive and we're all trying to make it work. Uh, 2022 maybe was your most amazing year. Maybe it was sad. Maybe you didn't accomplish everything that you wanted or maybe I'm wrong and it was just all fun and wonders. Uh, but whatever the reason you decided to click today, I wanted to let you know that you're not alone and that we all struggle with goals and setting um, vision boards and trying to make our lives something that we can go on with, you know? So um, even though this is, this is musician's edition, this is just for everybody. And it's just my take on whatever I have been researching to make myself better and to be able to cope with life and to find meaning and just make every year something worthy. And I hope it helps you somehow. So yeah, the last two years, two to three years have been really tough, not only for you, but for humanity. We're just coming out of a pandemic and it's been rough. It's been rough and it's been defining and transformative. And yeah, it's been something that we were not prepared for, but you know, it's something that has proved that uh, we as humans are tougher than we ever imagined. So let's go. Let's go try to make this year something worthy. First, I wanna make something clear. I know what do people say about New Year's resolution. Everybody wants them. Yes, we do. We write all those beautiful ideas and somehow they just slip through after the first couple months. And yeah, I know it happens, but I also acknowledge the fact that um, there's definitely a cycle that closes whenever a year just passes by. You know, after that, December 21st, something changes in the cosmos, in the universe. So I feel we need to acknowledge that. And we need to understand that life is full of cycles and that, you know, whenever they close, it's going to be rough. And whenever they open up, it's another opportunity. And every day is an opportunity to just reimagine yourself, rebrand yourself and build a life that you want. And it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be all roses because that's not life. But what if we don't dream? Then we don't have anything to just fight for, okay? So I want you to keep dreaming. So in this process of reinventing yourself or just resetting these goals or just gathering all that energy to just go back to work, just go back to whatever you're going back, you know, in this new year, um, it's very important that we acknowledge something and that is to pause and reflect. We need to understand that a cycle is over. So we need to understand what happened, if it was good or bad, what we learned, how did we grow? on that cycle. So that is the only way that you can be ready to then move on. You just need to take that pause, reflect, and just take in everything that happened so you can then release it and move on. And that is exactly what I need to do because I haven't done so. My December was very rough. Uh, I lost someone who was very important in my life. And, um, yeah, it was my grandma, she passed away, she raised me, and it, it has been very, very difficult. So I haven't really sat down and just processed the whole thing. But you know what? This video might be the opportunity for me to just sit and just write the stuff down and understand and be ready for the new year. So what if we do it together? Yeah. <music> Is done. I'm ready. 
Well, I hope that by now my little writing time uh, invited you to do the same and that you already acknowledge everything that happened in your 2022 and start understanding it better and acknowledging the fact that progress isn't linear. It is full of, of ups and downs. It's just like that. Now we're ready for step number one. Well, what should we call it? Step number two, but really number one of this new year. And that will be to envision your year. And it sounds very global and it's how it should be. I want you to concept map your year. And what is concept mapping? Well, I want you to write down a very beautiful 2023 number and just uh, write down words that you want to describe that year concepts that you want to be associated with that year around that number and we're gonna do it together of course i don't want you to look at all <laughs> Okay, now we're doing some progress. Now it's time to start envisioning the year. And that is super important. Um, I know that um, a lot of people think this is mumbo jumbo and that visualization and just believing in things before they happen and believing your this and believing your that um, does not work. Um, there might be some ultra popularity in those terms but ultimately i believe that the hype is worthy uh and that truly what you project to the universe you get it back in return it might be because you're just sending all of your energies because you're wishing so badly or it might be that you're actually just going for it because you actually in your inner self you believe that and that creates emotion that puts the whole system in place and starts working of course not everything that you desired that you put on that board will eventually boop, just appear it's just a process but it is the very first step believing is the very first step so let's get into that so we're in the vision board phase now and on that vision board phase i would like to say that unfortunately musicians i don't know why we think that we don't deserve things we think that uh, everything is meant to be difficult and tough and just you know we um held ourselves um under very difficult mental situations i don't know why um and it's very difficult for musicians to just sit down and think about and create a vision board and but i think that if we did that more often we'll be happier and we'll be more successful and we'll probably have better careers and more sustainable careers so yeah i invite you today to do that um if you're not into cutting things that is such a girly thing even for me sometimes it does a lot um you can just sit down and envision yourself like in a third person like from an outer perspective and imagine what do you want the world to see from you which version of yourself do you want to put out there and how do you want the things to work for you and that is very powerful and very important. If you don't dream, if you don't set those goals, then what guidance are you gonna have? Are you just stumbling through life? So yeah, very important. Sit down, think about that, and write down your greatest aims, your greatest desires, and feel like you already have those. Uh, and imagine those and write them one by one career health relationships how do you want to envision music even how do you want to grow as a person how do you want to be known for and so many things just write them down don't be tough on yourself don't make yourself think that it was too much that you don't deserve that and if you think that if you have those feelings holding you back of not being worthy then put an asterisk on that on that thing that you 
just wrote, but you're like, oh yeah, sure. No, you're gonna put an asterisk and you're gonna just ask yourself why, why I believe that that is not possible. What is holding me back? Am I too realistic or am I pessimistic? So do that for yourself. I'm gonna do it too. Hey, done. Yes, of course it took longer than you see in here, but it's done. I finally have a vision of my year and I feel that I can accomplish it, that I, that I, I feel hopeful. I feel like I have a plan. Well, so you have now your vision. You have an idea, a dream about how you want your uh, year to develop, but uh, that's not enough. Yeah. So we went out to chunk it down. We want to create goals based on that. And then to understand the steps, the necessary steps of those goals. Because a goal without action steps, without a strategy, is just merely a goal. It's just merely a dream. And it's something that we are not uh, ready to achieve because we don't know how to even get there. So that will be step number two. Chunk it down chunk it down into little pieces, into actionable steps. And I know that when you're setting goals, it's very personal, but sometimes you don't know exactly where to start. Um, you don't know um, what to ask yourself about those dreams or how to um, chunk it down. So I know, I know the struggle. Uh, so I have a little list that you can use as the guide that I'll link down in the description. So just make sure to just check it down and download it, it's totally free. And it's just to help you out because I feel like we just need to help each other out. And hey, musicians, I know, I know you're here judging. Hmm. You're saying, why is she doing that? She's like a guitarist. I mean, like, why is she talking that much? Who told her? You know, I don't care because I am a guitarist, I am a musician, but I am even more, I am a human being. And one of my goals as a human and as a creator and as someone who, you know, just loves life and loves humans is just to bring joy and enlightenment to the world. So if I can do that in any way possible, then be it. And I feel like we'll need some of this. vision, now you got the goals, now what? Well, it goes now to believing, yes, it goes now to manifesting, which is the next step. And how do we manifest? Well, we manifest by writing affirmations daily. That is how we make it all work. And I used to not believe at all on that, like at all. It took me to get to 2020 and see the world crumbling and try to make sense of anything and uh, that's how I was able to understand the power of the affirmations because what we believe we are, we project to the world. So I want you to start writing positive things about yourself and about your music and about everything that you want to accomplish and seeing also the results and seeing what you already have and being grateful for that. But not everything is down to just writing things, believing things, but actually you need actions. Yeah. You need discipline. You need discipline and you need to have order and to create systems and processes to keep yourself accountable. That is why so many people fail whenever they set up their goals at the beginning of the year and then it's December and they're like oh my gosh I never went to the gym or I never ever practiced how many hours or I never read the books that I wanted or why is my life so stagnant well you didn't follow through you need to follow through and that makes a world of difference organize yourself have a calendar set deadlines for yourself otherwise you will never just do the things you know and very very important create positive habits 
Um, and that is for the whole world, especially for musicians. You know that sometimes we don't have the healthiest habits. And I feel that if we change those and we exchange those for more positive ones, being those not only musically related, but even in our health, in our overall well being, will be better musicians and will achieve more. So try to make some healthy morning routines on which you include meditation, on which you take some time to yourself, on which you write down things um, like your feelings or uh, if you're anxious or not and your blessings as well. One of my favorite things is, for example, to keep um, I would say a study journal, a practice journal. It's just a little log thing that I have uh, and it has um, changed my life. I have been able to accomplish a lot more in my performance uh, by doing that. Um, I used to be so slow in learning new pieces, like it will take me forever. And I was lazy as well. So I, I just played uh, like the same repertoire from years ago. It was, it was a vast repertoire, but I was just getting stagnant. I was just getting tired of the same things and once I decided that I was just gonna use a log and that I was just going to program the way that I practice every day and what do I want to practice that definitely changed my life now how do I do that well you can use any kind of um, journal notebook or calendar and you're just gonna break that down into what do you want to accomplish musically and what are the necessary steps? I want you to daily create a daily log of what step have you taken for that. And for me, I just create like a little to-do list uh, of the things that I want to accomplish each day. You know, for example, today I want to practice the chacon because it's Monday. You know, but on Tuesdays I don't want to do the same thing because I get bored, and then I will go for some granados or some olives or whatever I want to do, and. You can be as detail oriented as just saying how long do you want to practice each piece? How long do you want it to be in your day? Or how many measures, if you want to chunk it down to that point? Or if you're a creator, like how much uh, work do you want to do until you feel like it's fulfilled the need on that day but i feel that it just brings a lot of um, awareness on what we do and also some accomplishment because if you accomplish day one then you're seeing some progress and day one can lead to day 100 or 200 or 300 and then when you see it's just an entire year of progress Another thing that you can do as a musician or a creator or even, I mean, anybody in the world, um, I know sometimes we don't want to put ourselves out there in the world, but um, it's also good when the world is holding us accountable. So you can create also a series of posts on social media or even for you know your family only or a group of friends when you just um, post a little bit of what you did in the day or you just post a chunk of what was your practice routine or what you achieved. Uh, that will help yourself account accountable. But it's more important than you know exactly that you did it, okay? Don't cheat. So just record five seconds and say, hey, I just did a full day. Yeah, sure. No, because you're just fooling yourself. I mean, you're just, in the end, it's your life. And what you stop doing, you just stop doing, you know? It's you holding yourself back. Another thing that I like to do in matters of discipline is just to um, have like a checklist that I need to do. I, that helps a lot, especially in those days on which we just wake up and we feel like scrambled around because we're humans and there will be days, rainy days like today, uh, that we don't feel like doing anything baby's cold outside and we just want to stay in bed and we just want to do whatever we want but if we have like a checklist of very important things that we have to go through like a routine that would help us move on get out of bed get dressed up and actually do something and yes i know not every day is gonna be as productive there will be days that you definitely don't feel like doing anything and it's okay give yourself that grace just just know 
that giving yourself that grace one day doesn't mean that you'll have to give it to yourself every day. Because that, that is the line between being human and being a disciplined human, which is able to achieve more and I feel like have a more fulfilling life. Another piece of advice is get a whiteboard. Yeah, I know, I know. They are annoying, but they, they are a constant reminder of what you need to do. Also, it's good to have it around for, I don't know if it happens to you, but usually when I am performing, when I am practicing, a lot of things that, oh, I need to do, just come to my mind. So it's good to just have it around, write those things down, brain dump, and then continue. Also, on that whiteboard, you can write down your goals for that practice day, or you can write down any feelings that in, um, any findings that you did on your practice. And I feel like it is such a necessary tool. Also, it is super uh, important to have it around in a very visible place of your house. So it kind of makes you feel bad whenever you see it. It's just like reminding you, hey, you know? So yeah, get a whiteboard. Do some readings. As musicians, we believe that everything that we need to do is just to play and play and play. And no, we need to just have a life outside playing and, and to understand life so we can become better at playing. Does that make sense? One of those books that have truly changed my life is this one, really. It's been there in my toughest times and it always brings me back to just doing what I need to do. So Atomic Habits, really good reading. But any kind of growth and development in books and literature will always, always be good. Another tip, uh, be practical. <laughs> yes, I know, I know that sounds horrible, especially coming from musicians, we are creative beings and we should not be that practical because people think that we live out of air and that the only thing we do is to actually play the instrument all day long, which is not true. If you want to uh, be proficient in music, if you want to achieve something, um, there's more than just playing the instrument. And for all the people out there, I mean, we barely practice eight hours unless we have a concert like right there because we're human beings you know we need to we have other works to do we have multiple things we wear multiple hats that i feel that is like one thing that every profitable musician every musician that is doing something uh, with their career uh, does and there's a lot of emailing calling falling through falling back and just a lot of um, businessy things that you don't see backstage so yeah we don't have that much time so we need to be really productive about our what we do it is not about eight hours of practice it's all about maybe 30 minutes of a focused one it's just taking the best out of whatever the time you have. It's just being fully conscious and practice by starting with the hardest sections. That's it. No going through the entire piece, just directly to the one that you know is going to be the bad one, okay? So just go directly diving into what you don't want to do into the hardest, most painful section and you'll see it gets better. So yeah, work smarter, not harder. So yes, we're getting towards the end of the video. And I know, I know that there might be some unanswered questions like a lot, especially for um, productivity. And I will say that one of the most important things is following through and making sure that you're staying on track. Discipline alone and just doing the same thing without looking at the results or at the long view thing can be quite boring and you just quit when you get bored because that is what humans do now one thing that you can do is just use also technology because that helps a lot you can use um apps like notion or obsidian and just kind of have a plan you know and track your progress 
you know, you can have all that vision, all those goals, and all those things that you're working on as projects, uh, and just be able to see how they evolve. And that feels so good because it makes you feel that you're actually accomplishing something and that all the effort and the sweat and tears are actually paying off. Well, that is all for now. I would like to thank you for just staying here. And yes, if you would like to know more about how to be more productive in your practice time, I can do a whole video just for that. I hope this helped you somehow. And I hope that you're just setting the mood in this first week and just making sure that you're ready to go, that you're letting go of whatever happened, that you're raising your vibrations and that you're ready to leave the best year ever. Because who knows? It might be time to create your master plan. Thank you.